Alright guys, we've got a fairly complicated multi-step equation and we're going to work through it and I'm going to show you all the steps that we need to do to solve this mug. Alright, your first step is combine like terms. Alright, all that means, wow, that's some good handwriting. All that means is look on this side over here and combine everything you can okay simplify whatever you gotta do and then do it on this side we're not gonna do any of that opposite stuff you know usually you're like oh I gotta get rid of a negative four so I have to add four to both sides alright you don't have to do that right now really what you all you're doing which all you're doing I'm good at words um, all you're doing is you're doing regular math 2 plus 2 is 4 for this side and then this side we're keeping them on their sides of the equal sign so I look at all these parentheses is there anything in there I can simplify Anything in here I can simplify? No. Anything in here? No. So, my next step is going to be to, you guessed it, distribute. So, I'm going to distribute this into here, and I'm going to go for the 1, and then for the negative 5x. So, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 5x is positive 25x. A lot of people will forget about that x. Don't forget about that little fella. He wants to come and join the party. So, I got this. I'm going to mark it out, so I know that I'm finished with it up here. So, I don't like double up on it or leave it out. Next thing I do is distribute the positive 5 to there and there. So positive 5 times negative 8x will be negative 40x. Then positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Still got my equal sign. Now can I combine any like terms over here? Over here what we did was not really called combining like terms. Um, I kind of summed it up with that. It just means simplify. Our first thing is simplify everything then combine like terms. Which combining terms kind of like simplifying? It's a crazy world. So what we do is take negative 4x and subtract 8x would be negative 12x. And you're like, well, x is subtracted. No, they didn't. It was just that much of that. All right, now we combine like terms. Take this negative 5. And we're going to see what we can mix it up with. We can only combine it with stuff that are regular numbers. You can't have an x in it because this doesn't have an x in it. So like negative 10. So what's negative 5 minus 10? Negative 15. Mark them out so that you know that you've used them. Next, take the next number, which is positive 25x. It means that we can only do stuff that have x's, which is this one. 25x minus 40x would be negative 15x. Because we're just doing 25 minus 40, and then we're keeping our x on there. He's hanging out. Now, we got both of those. Is this whole side done? Yuppers. Is this side need to be simplified? No, we already did that. Okay. Next step. Go across the equal sign. Alright, so we want to get our x's together. Also called get x. X's together. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah. It might be y's or a's or j's or t's if your name is me. So we got to do the opposite to get it over there. What's the opposite of minusing 15x? Adding 15x. Boom. So we add 15x to both sides. And then we bring down our stuff. Alright, and then negative 12 at x plus 15x would be positive 3x and then we just do our last step which is divide by 3 to get x by itself so that would be negative 5 equals x and you could always check it by plugging negative 5 in for all your x's in the original equation but I don't want to do that because I'm just not feeling it right now. Toodles! Hey, hey thanks, thanks for showing up. Give me subscribe. Pizza? Okay.